Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 2.9, Problem 6. This is Section 2.9, Problem 6. It says 6 and 2 fifths minus 3 and 5 eighths. So we have to find the common denominator. One denominator is 5 and the other is an 8. So a good common denominator would be 40. So let's find the numerators. So for the upper fraction, 5 times some value made 40. So it must have been times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. So the numerator must get multiplied times the same value, times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. <clears throat> now, for the lower fraction, the denominator times some value made a 40. So 8 times something is 40. It must have been times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So the numerator gets multiplied times the same value. 5 times 5 is 25. Now, this is subtraction, so I can go ahead and subtract. And I have 16 minus 25. Now, we have a problem. 16 is not big enough to subtract 25. So this is the case where you need to borrow. So to borrow, what we have to do is go to the whole number that's in front of the upper fraction, cross it out, and reduce it by 1. It was a 6. I'm going to cross out that 6, reduce it down to a 5. Then I cross off the numerator of 16, make a new numerator by adding the denominator of 40 to the old numerator. So the denominator of 40 plus the old numerator of 16, 40 and 16 more, makes a 56. That's how you borrow when you subtract mixed numbers. Now, I have to subtract 56 minus 25. Now the 56 is big enough. So, 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 2 is 3. I have 31 as the numerator. Common denominator is 40. Subtract the whole numbers. Don't forget, it's not a 6 anymore. We reduce it to a 5 so we can borrow. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 and 31 fortieths. Now, that's the answer some people hate to borrow. They don't remember the steps, or they might remember, but they're not really sure. So what we can do is, let's say you had 6 and 2 fifths minus 3 and 5 eighths. And you start the whole thing with a common denominator, and you say, oh, no, it's one of those borrow problems. Let's change this a little bit. Let's make them both improper fractions. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 5 more is 29. So I will have, let me write that lower, 29 over 8 as the lower fraction. The upper fraction, 5 times 6 is 30. 30 plus 2 more is 32. So I have 32 over 5. Subtract those, the improper fractions. I won't have to borrow now. So, my denominators are still 5 and 8, so 40 is still a good common denominator. So now, for the top fraction, 5 times something was 40. Well, still 5 times 8. So the top is also times 8. It's a little tougher to do 32 times 8. You might not be able to do it in your head. If you can, that's great. If you can't, just come off to the side. 32 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 6, carry the 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the one more that you carried. 24 and 1 more is 25. 256. So I have 256 over 40. Now, do the same thing for the lower fraction. 8 times some number was 40. Well, 8 times 5 is 40, so the numerator is times the same amount, 29 times 5. Now again, that's tougher to do in your head. If you see it, great, and if you don't, just go off to the side. 29 times 5, 5 times 9 is 45, put the 5, carry the 4. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus the 4 that you carried, 10 plus 4 is 14, so that makes 145. Now you can subtract with no borrowing. They're bigger numbers, but no borrowing. 256 over 40, minus 145 over 40. 6 minus 5 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So you have 111 over 40. Now, that looks different than our previous answer, 2 and 31 fortieths. Let's put that back to a mixed number. So, 
Let's do the denominator of 40 divides into the numerator how many times? Well, 140 is 40, 240s is 80, 340s is 120. 340s is too big. So 240s is as big as I can get. 2 times 40 is 80. Now I'll subtract 111 minus 80. 1 minus 0 is 1. 11 minus 8 is 3. So it's 2 and 31 over 40. Oh, same answer. We got it without borrowing. So if, you, if you're good at borrowing, it will go a little quicker. I, I got this answer quicker. If you hate to borrow or you're not sure if you remember, make them both in proper fractions. Just do big, big numerators and convert it to a mixed number when you're done. And you don't have to remember how to borrow. It's a little bit more tedious. Numbers are bigger, but you'll get the right answer without borrowing.